Good morning, sixth graders. Today's lesson is 12.1. Recognize statistical questions. Our essential question, how do you identify a statistical question? If you measure the heights of your classmate, you are collecting data. A set of data is a set of information collected about people or things. A question that asks about a set of data that can vary is called a statistical question. What are the heights of my classmates on July 1? Is a statistical question because height usually varies in a group of people. What is Sasha's height on July 1st? Is not a statistical question because it asks for only one piece of information at one time. Let's unlock the problem. The New England Aquarium in Boston is home to over 80 penguins. Which of the following is a statistical question a biologist could ask about the penguins? Explain your reasoning. So question A says, how much does the penguin named Pip weigh this morning? Question B says, how much did the penguin named Pip weigh each morning on 30 different days? So first we need to identify a statistical question. Question A asks for Pip's weight at one time. So it does not ask about a set of data that varies. Question A is not a statistical question. Now question B asks for Pip's weight at 30 times. And it is likely that Pip's weight will vary during this time. So question B asks about a set of data that can vary. So it is a statistical question. Now another biologist asks how old the penguin named Royal Pudding is. Is this a statistical question? Explain your reasoning. No. The penguin has only one age at a time, so the question does not ask about a set of data that varies. Now, if they said, how old are the 30 elephants at the zoo, then the ages could vary and it would be a statistical a statistical question can ask about an entire set of data that can vary or a value that describes a set of data. For example, what is the height of the tallest person in my class? Is a statistical question because it will tell you the greatest value in a set of data that can vary. You will learn other ways to describe sets of data later in this chapter. Our example today is about bongos. Bongos are a kind of elephant that live in Central Africa. Bongos are unusual because both males and females have horns. Write two statistical questions a biologist could ask about a group of bongos. So one could be, what is the length of the horns on a bongo that has the longest horns in the group? Different bongos will have different horn lengths. This question asks about a value in a set of data that can vary. So it is a statistical question. Now, number two says, what is the weight of the smallest bongo in the group? Different bongos will have different weights. This question asks about a value in a set of data that can vary. So it is a statistical question. So now write statistical questions that you could ask in the situation described below. So A says, a researcher knows the amount of electricity used in 20 different homes on Monday. So one question might be, how much electricity does the house that uses the most electricity use? Because you're looking for a specific data that is in a set of data that varies. Question B or situation B says, a museum director records the number of students in each tour group that visits the museum during one week. So one question could be, how many students are in the smallest tour group? Share and show. Identify the statistical question and explain your reasoning. What was the low temperature in Chicago each day in March? The second one says, what was the low temperature in Chicago on March 7th? So question A asks for the low temperature at 31 times because they're asking for each day in March. 
and it is likely that the temperature can vary. Question B, on the other hand, asks for the low temperature at only one time. So question A is the statistical question because it is asking for data that will vary. Now number two says, how long did it take you to get to school this morning? Part B says, how long did it take you to get to the school each morning this week? So question A only asks for one day. But question B asks for the time on five different days, and the times will likely vary. So B is a statistical question. Now, the next segment wants us to write a statistical question that you could ask in the situation. Three says, a student recorded the number of pets in the household of 50 sixth graders. So one question might be, how many households had one or more dogs? You could say, how many households had fish? How many households had cats? So many questions that you could ask when you're recording a number of pets and you're using 50 different sixth graders. So most likely you're going to be getting lots of different answers. Therefore, the data is going to vary. Okay, so these next two I want you to do on your own. How many gold medals has Finland won at each of the last 10 Winter Olympics? How many gold medals did Finland win at the 2008 Winter Olympics? So which one of these is asking for varied data and thus the statistical question? On the next one, it says write a statistical question that you could ask in each of these situations. When you are finished with that, you're going to work on the Think Central. If you need me, I will be on the carpet as always. Good luck.